Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I was recently watching Scout Crafter and he uh, purchased himself a Stanley 199 um, craft knife or a utility knife as you see here and did a good job of customising it up and it looked really good afterwards too. Uh, and then he suggested that people like myself could uh, upload a video about doing something with a Stanley 199. Well this one here happened to belong to my late father and I can remember it way back into the 60s so I guess he might have bought it in the 50s, late 50s or early 60s sometime so it's quite old so I'm not about to uh, mess about with this one but anyway I was at a car boot sale last week and I came across two of them uh, they were both like this one with the uh, saw blade in and I looked at them both and I decided I was going to have a go at doing this one why this particular one? Well, hopefully you can see here, someone's used it as a hammer and um, damaged the end a little bit. You can compare it with my uh, late father's one. My late father's one has got a nice rounded section just here where this is quite flattened off. And as you can see, it's also got a rather large gap in here. So we're going to have to try and address that as well. Right, so the first thing we better do is uh, remove this saw blade and have a look inside, see what we've got, see what's going on. Okay, right. I've already got one of these saw blades. I bought it some years ago. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'll clean this up as well and we'll see how well it cuts. Okay, so here's the two sections. They're not too bad inside there. Don't look like there's a lot of damage, as I say, apart from this uh, end here. Where, as I say, you can see they've been um, bashed, used as a hammer probably, or, or dropped from a great height. There's a little bit of uh, damage just here as well where it's sort of bowed out like so. so I'm going to try and address all these problems and see if we can make it look a, a little bit better, guys. Here is my late father's original. As you can see, interestingly, this one's flattened off just here on both sides. You can see it's flat. Whereas the one I picked up on Sunday is slightly rounded on both sides. So again, this, uh, I don't know what's going on there, whether there's some sort of different moulding used or whether this is from uh, you know, a different time. i say maybe my late father picked this one up in the late 50s or early 60s sometime. Uh, this one might be a slightly later model, I don't know. You can still get these, by the way. Uh, they are different again. They've got a slightly different design again. If you look at this picture here. Um, yeah, so what we'll have to do, as I say, we'll, do, we'll try and address this here first. See if we can get this um, looking like father's... Right, so I've got this slightly modified and bent um, punch here. So let's see if we can't address the problem in the end of um, the knife handle. Okay then, so we've given it a little bit of a reprofiling. Um, let's pop it on to the other half of my late father's um, 199 here and we'll see what we look like on the end now then guys. Okay, so this end is my late father's. If we turn it over you can still see there's some gaps there, but here's the one I bought on the boot sale, and hopefully you can see we've reprofiled it quite nicely. So um, what we better be doing is having a go at the other end now. Okay, so this side here is the uh, handle from my late father's 199, and here is the damaged one, the one I picked up from the boot sale. So we're going to have to reprofile this end too, guys. It's a bit of a state, as you can see. Let's give it a go. Okay, so let's take a look at how we've progressed. I don't think we're going to get it 100%, but, um, you know, as long as it's better than it was, hey. Okay, so what do you think of this thing, guys? Well, I think this is looking a lot better, especially around this edge here. You know, where they'd used it as a hammer. I've tried to get the profile back again. Um, it does look a lot better, it goes together a lot better as well. I did have to um, 
slightly because uh, these were slightly bowed this both of these handle halves were bowed this way so I've had to just gently hit them with a hammer and straighten them up a little bit but I'm hoping that looks a lot better what do you think guys let us know it's a lot better that is so all we've got to do now um, what I'm going to do is I get the paint off of it I get the paint off it and I'm going to give it a nice polish then because um, you know half the paint on it looks horrible and I did actually polish up a um, a Stanley snap blade I got at work um, that looked a lot better after I polished it and it felt a lot better too you know with the paint gone so uh, let's see if we can get the paint off of here then give it a nice polish up Okay, so here we are halfway through. You can see this side has been polished up a little bit with some uh, emery paper here. Uh, I'm going to get some Solval Auto Sol on here and give it a nice shine in a moment. But I think what we'd better do is address this side and bring it up to spec. Let's have a go with some uh, Auto Sol metal polish. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look at that. That's a lot better. Let's have a go with some of my late father's wire wool and Solvol Autosol as well. I'm not using any power tools to do this uh, project by the way guys, none at all, just all um, manual labour going on here. Well, what do you think so far then guys? That's just one half of it yet. Yeah? Alrighty then, so that's the uh, knife handle itself, nicely polished up, you see we've got a bit of um, shine going on here, very nice too. Got the, the uh, end reprofiled, taking away the gaps. So what's left now is the, um, the saw blade that came with it. So let's give that a crack, see if we can clean it up and make it look like new. get out the uh, little kinks and bends in it. Okay, too bad. Right, there's the blade polished up as best as we can get it. I don't think we're going to get it much better than that without power tools but I've done this whole project without power tools so far. So uh, let's get it all reassembled up together again. Well that's a huge improvement from uh, when we started. Let's see if this uh, saw blade's any good. Right, so here we have a nice rough piece of wood here. Let's give it a go. The old blade, the old saw blade. It's probably been used quite a bit, I'd imagine. Oh, well, we've managed to bend it. Well, it's still a good one, even if I've bent it a little bit. Well, it certainly looks a lot better now than it did when we started. Um, I think we've even managed to get rid of the uh, gap around the back here. And just in case you're wondering, it's not Dad's. My late father's one is still here and still in one piece. So I've not touched father's. I, I wasn't going to do that anyway. That's why I picked this one up from the car boot sale. As I say, it was in the right state, especially round about here, somewhere where it had been used as a hammer. Um, it's a lot nicer now. Let me know what you think in the um, comments down below, guys. Um, I've really enjoyed this little project actually. Um, it looks a lot nicer than it did uh, and it feels a lot nicer too. Nice and shiny. Yeah, really enjoyed that guys. Thanks for watching.